In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this four steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added four different colors here. And for each uh, step, I've added the icons. You can add the point number one and some detailed text. Likewise, I did for the point two, three and four. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the rectangles choose the rectangle just click it here then go to the shape format I'm going to make the height as uh, 3.5 and the width as 3 shape outline make it no outline and then I'm going to insert the right triangle draw a right triangle give some different color here and shape outline make it no outline so here in this one I'm just going to put this one I'm going to rotate this flip vertical and put it here and make sure that this has to be perfectly aligned to the right side of the triangle you can see here and then press ctrl D to duplicate bring it down and then I'm just going to rotate and I'm going to make it flip horizontal and then make it flip vertical so we end up getting a shape something like this so now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to cut this one the right triangles from the main this uh, rectangle so first of all select the the big rectangle then hold the shift key select the right triangle and the bottom triangle release the shift key then you can go to the merge shapes and you can make it a subtract so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this now depending on the requirement whichever color you would like to choose you can just choose this one so i'm going to pick this color press ctrl d to duplicate give some other color here i'm going to give this and i'm going to make this as flip horizontal bring it down a little bit and send this to back all right so select both the shapes press ctrl d to duplicate move this aside press ctrl g to group it and then i'm going to make it flip horizontal and bring it more closer which looks something like this and hold the ctrl shift g and press the ctrl shift g to ungroup this one and then i'm just going to choose any color of my choice i'm going to give some different color combinations here so you can see here i've got a design which looks something like this again if you like you can move it somewhat up also it's up to you so depending on the requirement you can select all this shape press ctrl g to group it and you can reduce or increase depending on the requirement so i'm just going to keep like this put it exactly in the center and ungroup this one and if you like to add some more uh, shadow effect i'm going to use insert shapes i'm going to choose the right triangle draw a right triangle you can see here reduce the size shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with some dark gray color and send this back you can see here it looks kind of a shadow effect and the same thing you can duplicate this one by pressing ctrl D and rotate it flip horizontal and put it here and then send back so you can see here and if you just if i zoom in you can see it has not been properly aligned so make sure that you have to align it zoom it properly and align it okay so this is this looks okay now so now once this is done you can go to the insert icons choose the icons of your choice in this case i'm going to choose some four random icons 
so I'm just going to choose maybe this one one two uh, let me just go down this three and this is four click insert and I'm going to make the height and width maybe 0.6 and graphic fill i'm going to make it white and graphic effect shadow i'm going to make the shadow which is offset bottom and i'm going to put exactly on each of these shapes you can see here align it properly and then once this is done you can go to the insert text box add this one maybe this is option one and insert text box add details here all right so this one both of this one i'm going to make this align right and shape align i'm going to make it right and then put it here like this this is option one press ctrl d to duplicate bring this down this is option two press ctrl d to duplicate move to the right side now align make it left and home make it left all right and press ctrl d so this is my last option so this is option one this is option two option three and option four all right so it looks something like this so depending on the requirement you can change the color you can reduce the the shadow effect of this one or if, if you want you can just remove this one depending on your uh, requirements you can just do any changes